Oklahoma City energy tomorrow. It's a very big game. It's the Derby game, big rivalry game for us because it's uh, Oklahoma City is like an hour and a half away, two hours away, and it's in the state of Oklahoma, Oklahoma City versus Tulsa. So it's it's pretty big. It's kind of funny too. I was thinking about it. Like over in Germany, over in England, over in other countries, especially Europe, or like when I was over in New Zealand an hour and a half is like your long road games. If you're on the bus for an hour and a half, two hours, that's like the farthest that you'll have to travel, maybe a little bit longer. But um, but here in America, uh, hour and a half bus ride is like right next door. And we play teams that are like six hour plane rides away. It's just the US is just so big and so expansive and teams are so far apart that it's definitely a lot different than other places around the world. Um, it's just kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, Derby game. Very, very important. Very big for the club. Tulsa versus Oklahoma City. Last time we played them, we tied 1-1. Maybe Rodrigo da Costa maybe should have been a tad bit more selfish there. Ball comes back to him. Janu Silva is on first opportunity. And Silva has put the Roughnecks in the lead in the early going. Janu Silva scores. And the Roughnecks strike first in the Black Gold Derby. Ossetti's ball. Off a header and a goal. That's Omar Gordon. And Oklahoma City has leveled at one here in the 32nd minute. And that will do it for the first leg of the Black Gold Derby. I didn't get to play in that game because I was injured. So I'm looking forward to playing in this one, especially away at, at Oklahoma City. It's, it's always fun to be, kind of be the bad guy, be the guy on the road, you know, get booed, get yelled at. And also my parents are flying in. My parents fly in and it's in an hour. So yeah, looking forward to that. Probably grab dinner with them tonight, hang out with them, and they're gonna be here for the weekend, and they're gonna take my car to drive over to Oklahoma City um, just so they can spend more time with me in Tulsa. So, should be a good weekend. Uh, it's so humid outside. It's like 85 degrees, but like 100% humidity. So my mom and dad are already here. It's like 3.15 right now. Um, so we were gonna meet at dinner at 6.30, but they're kind of hungry and they just got to their hotel and their hotel has like a rooftop bar. So I'm gonna go there, hang out with them, get a little appetizer, they'll probably get a drink. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna get a drink because I got a game tomorrow, but I'll just hang out with them until uh, dinner time because it's pretty much either me just hanging out, taking a nap and chilling at my apartment by myself or going down and hanging out with my mom and dad who I, who I don't get to see that often. So I'm gonna head out there right now. Um, we'll just put the keys. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Are you bored? No meeting? Uh, the more shop is working. Yeah. How's the lake? Good, the lake's good. Welcome to Tulsa. Nice. That's nice, huh? Uh, a little rain. The guy said in the they're supposed to get like four inches of rain between now and Saturday. Awesome. <laughs> I got off the plane and my hair literally went. Yeah, it's humid here. <laughs> My parents and I are gonna to go to a restaurant down here called Amelia's. I've been there a couple times with Mimi, it's pretty good. All right, like eight o'clock at night, just finished up dinner with the uh, with the rents. They came, this is their, only their second time in Tulsa. They came to Tulsa for the first time when the very first game of the season when I played against uh, Portland Timbers 2 but I only got to see them a little bit after the game and, I, and from breakfast the next morning. Um, so this is just their second time in Tulsa. It's actually kind of cool. It was perfect weather. Uh, the mugginess and the humidity went down, so it's really nice. It's like 75 degrees outside. We walked around the town a little bit. Tomorrow is game day, so tomorrow I'm going to see them for breakfast, but it's going to be very healthy breakfast. I have team lunch. I'll show you. I'll take you guys along as well. But, um, but yeah, very, very cool. It's always... I don't want to take it for granted whenever my parents come into town because it's it's pretty rare that my parents now are going to see me play in person. Um, just a few times a year now it happens. Uh, it's either when I play in Portland or, or they'll travel out and, and to see me. So it's not like it used to be where I was like even in college or when I was back home playing for a club team where it was like every single weekend I had a game just a few minutes away. Now it's like 
across the country, games are across the country, or even if I'm lucky enough to play in the same country, sometimes like when I was in New Zealand or Germany, they, you know, it's across the world. So very cool. Don't want to take that for granted. Right now I'm just going to go back home, chill, maybe watch a little bit of Netflix and uh, pass out around nine o'clock, 9.30. Oh my God, these freaking birds on the scooter. I'm going to kill one of these people. Gooch. Want some food? Let's go. I have to film feeding Gucci on camera because Mimi says that she doesn't think I'm gonna feed Gucci. So Mimi, Gucci is fed. Oops, whoops. Let me pour it. Gucci's fed. She has water. She's healthy. She's good. Don't worry. All right, good morning everybody, it's game day, it's like 10 o'clock. I am going to go pick up my parents and go out to breakfast with them, chill for a bit. I don't have to do anything until like 2.30 today. Basically today at 2.30 we have a team meeting, watch some film, have a team lunch, and then we're just taking the bus all the way into OKC. So, um, pretty chill morning, chill afternoon, just kind of rest and uh, prepare for the uh, drive over and prepare for the game. So, let's do it. I was just in my apartment, I took a little nap, I didn't film anything, I was just kind of chilling for like an hour, two hours. Now I'm going to uh, meet one of my teammates, he's gonna take me over to Titan where we have film review, a little team lunch, and then we're headed out to uh, Oklahoma City on the bus. So I'll take you guys along, film what I can, the usual, but uh, from here on out it's kind of more laid back and I uh, kind of get, kind of focus on the game, so we'll see. I gave my mom the actual camera, so she's gonna get some clips of the game and uh, so you guys can really see like the atmosphere. Tulsa in OKC. Here's an opportunity for OKC. 
Highland high up in the air. The header from Isley. He got it. What a header from Christian Isley. Well, that is a fantastic header. But let me tell you that I think that this goal needs to be taken away because Highland just crosses the line as he's throwing this ball in. Battle on the sideline, Gordon trying to win it away. In the box, Lorendi comes up. Here's a dangerous chance, and that leads to a goal. Da Costa strikes with his eighth of the year, and we're even at one. Well, this is an absolute gimme for Rodrigo Da Costa. Not that he's made any mistakes, but the crossbar has saved him. He made one great save early on, but right here, this ball is being dealt with by Atiba Harris. Ibiaga, or rather Isley, finished on the other end. This one is up to Cato. Sends it in the box to Gordon. Here's a chance for Gordon. What a defensive play at the last second by Matt Shelton. Well, second half, even at one apiece. First half with plenty of physicality, plenty of action. Most of it in the first 30 minutes, and a lot of it coming from that night. DaCosta just missing off the left post. Garcia battles for the ball. He works with Shelton. Great touch. Such a quality player. Here's some space. The shot, Lorendi the save. The rebound, a ricochet. A second opportunity is why. His hips to get past the defender and then cuts inside and on his weaker right foot still manages to uncork one. That's a good save. Waiting for it was Hedrick. Silva. Oh, this is a second yellow for Javon Watson. He's going to get his mar marching orders. And this may be a little bit harsh for Watson. This back line steady for OKC. Reyes this time. Here's a chance. And it just misses wide. Lorendi got a paw on it to make the play. Oh, what a phenomenal save this is. Unbelievable. Another fantastic ball from Brian Reyes. And that'll do it. We end in a draw.